Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Wednesday. We've got 15 matchups on this MLB slate today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. Working our way to 21.6K subs. Getting pretty close to that. So be sure to check that out. Make that happen. And uh, check out all my betting links in the description below, guys. Really good promo, especially with Handle. New customers, bet five. Get 150 in bonus bets. Take advantage in the description below, guys. And yeah, we'll hop in it. Busy slate today. Starting with the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. Pirates opening up as home favorites at minus 130. Cardinals plus 110 with the over-under at 8. Uh, Cardinals coming into this matchup 44 and 40. Pittsburgh 40 and 44. Pitching for the Cardinals is Miles Mikolas with an ERA at 3.20. His last start, he pitched. Um, he pitched four innings, gave up nine runs, had one strikeout. Uh, he's coming off a very bad game on the mound. Pitching for the Pirates is Jared Jones with an ERA at 3.0. His last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up two runs. Had eight strikeouts. Uh, St. Louis coming off a pit win yesterday, seven to four. They're on a two-game winning streak, seven and three in their last ten right now. Uh, yeah, Pittsburgh dropping that that game yesterday. Not sure I love Mikolas on the mound. Um, he's had some very rough starts here. He's given up nine. Four, you know, coming off two bad starts, giving up nine and four runs. Uh, Jared Jones, he's been decent. He's had his games where he gives up two, you know, two-ish runs here. Um, this one's a tough one. But uh, I like the Pirates to bounce back today. Tough loss yesterday. I like the pitching matchup today for the Pirates. I'm going to take Pittsburgh at home. Next matchup, we've got the Chicago White Sox versus the Cleveland Guardians. Cleveland opening up as home favorites at minus 190. The White Sox plus 160 with the over-under at 8.5. The White Sox coming into this matchup 24 and 63. Cleveland 53 and 30. Pitching for the White Sox is Eric Fetty with an ERA of 2.40. His last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up four runs. Had five strikeouts. Pitching for Cleveland is Gavin Williams with an ERA of 2.0. His last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up one run. Had seven strikeouts. Uh, White Sox losing a tough one to the Guardians yesterday, 6-7. to seven. Um, Nice win for Cleveland, who's... Uh, you know, trying to bounce back after a bad Royal series. I think this is a great spot for them here. Um, Gavin Williams has been good on the mound here. Last four games, he's only given up five runs, which is very good. And um, yeah, Eric Fetty hasn't been horrible, but he gives up from to about two to four runs a game here. But yeah, I like Cleveland, the way they're playing. I think this is going to be their series. I'll take the Guardians at home. Next matchup, we got the Boston Red Sox versus the Miami Marlins. Boston opening up his road favorites at minus 140. Miami plus 120 with the over-under at 8. Boston coming into this matchup 45 and 39. Miami 30 and 55. Pitching for Boston is Brian Bellow with an ERA of 4.40. His last start, he pitched two innings. Gave up seven runs. Had... Two strikeouts. Pitching for the Marlins is Trevor Rogers with an ERA of 2.40. His last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up three runs. Had four strikeouts. Uh, Boston beating the Marlins yesterday, 8-3. Uh, they're still playing very well right now. Uh, Marlins on a two-game losing streak. Definitely going to struggle for the Marlins here. I think it's a good series for Boston. They played well. Um, Bello, not the greatest on the mound, but, you know, Rogers, he, he still gives up two to four runs a game here, but, uh, I like the way Boston's playing. Give me the 
the Red Sox on the road today. Next matchup, we got the New York Mets versus the Washington Nationals. Mets opening up as road favorites at minus 130. The Nationals plus 110 with the over-under at 8.5. Mets coming into this matchup 42-41. and 41. Washington 39-46. and 46. Pitching for the Mets is Christian Scott with an ERA of 0. It looks like he could be making his first start of the season for the Mets. Can't find any stats on him, so we'll see if that holds up today for the pitching matchup. Pitching for the Nationals is Mitchell Parker with an ERA of 1.80. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs, had five strikeouts. Um, yeah, I mean, we saw the Mets. Yeah, I mean, they won back-to-back -back games against the Nationals 7-2 to yesterday. They're playing very well. Washington, 2-8 and eight in their last 10. But a real struggle for the Nationals here. I mean, I still like the Mets. The Mets are playing good. For me, it's hard not to take them. They're playing, they're playing very well. Yeah, give me the Mets. Give me the Mets on the road today. Next matchup, we've got the Cincinnati Reds versus the New York Yankees. Yankees opening up as home favorites at minus 180. The Reds plus 150 with the over-under at 8.5. Reds coming into this matchup 40 and 45. The Yankees 54 and 33. Pitching for the Reds is Andrew Abbott with an ERA of 2.20. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs, had two strikeouts. Pitching for the Yankees is Carlos Rodon with an ERA of 4.60. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up eight runs, had eight strikeouts. The last three games, Radon, he's been getting lit up. He's given up eight, seven, and five runs, all three losses. And it's been early game. It's been early in those games where he's just been lit up. I, I just don't love Radon on the mound. Um, we saw Cincinnati with a big win yesterday against the Yankees, five four. Which I thought Yankees would play well in the spot, but. You know, I like the Yankees, but with Radon on the mound, he's just been, last three games, he has killed everyone's parlays. Just getting lit up early and put him in, putting the Yankees in a hole here. Yeah, I think I got to take the Reds plus one and a half on the road today. Next matchup, we got the Houston Astros versus the Toronto Blue Jays. Both teams in a pick em scenario at minus 110 with the over under at eight and a half. Houston coming into this matchup, 43 and 42. Toronto 39 and 46. Pitching for Houston is Ronel Blanco with an ERA of 1.80. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had five strikeouts. Pitching for Toronto is Yusai Kikuchi with an ERA of 2.80. Kikuchi, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up four runs, had seven strikeouts. He's coming off three games where he's gotten lit up. He's given up four, four, and five runs in his last three. All three losses as well. Uh, Blanco been very solid. Big win for Toronto yesterday. You know, winning a close one, seven to six. Uh, ending Houston's little three-game winning streak they were on here. Yeah, not in love with Kikuchi. He's coming off three very bad starts today. And uh, I think I'm going to take the Astros with the bounce back today on the road. Next matchup, we got the San Francisco Giants versus the Atlanta Braves. Braves opening up as home favorites at minus 200. Giants plus 160 with the over-under at 8. Giants coming into this matchup 42-44. and 44. Atlanta 46-37. and 37. Pitching for the Giants is Jordan Hicks with an ERA of 2.60. His last start, he pitched 5 innings. Gave up 3 runs. Had 7 strikeouts. Pitching for the Braves is Chris Sale with an ERA of 2.80. His last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up one run. Had 11 strikeouts. Uh, Giants, big win against the Braves yesterday, winning 5-3. to three. Uh, Braves dropped the last two games here. I mean, a thing I just noticed, when the Braves are big favorites, man, they, they really do disappoint. Um... I just don't think they're meant to be big favorites. They've been big favorites the last two games. They've dropped them. 
I've just noticed a trend. When they're bigger favorites, they really do drop them. And, um, yeah, not too sold on the Braves. I thought they'd have a good spot yesterday, but especially with Birdsong on the mound, but apparently not. Give me the Giants plus one and a half on the road today. Next matchup, we got the Philadelphia Phillies versus the Chicago Cubs. Phillies opening up as road favorites at minus 130. The Cubs plus 110 with the over under at eight. Phillies coming into this matchup 56 and 29. The Cubs 39 and 47. Pitching for the Phillies is Zach Wheeler with an ERA of 2.60. His last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up two runs and five strikeouts. Pitching for the Cubs is Shota Imanaga with an ERA of 3.40. His last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up three runs, had three strikeouts. Phillies with a big underdog win yesterday against the Cubs, winning 6-4. to four. Uh, that, They're on a little two-game streak. And the Cubs, you know, two-game losing streak, 3-7 and seven in their last 10. But a real struggle for the Cubs here. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm liking the Phillies here. Um, I like Wheeler on the mound. I mean, Imanaga's been very good, but... You know, his last two games, he's given up runs. He had a three-run and then the 10-run game. And then Wheeler's just been very solid. He gives up about two runs for the most part. Um, like in the Phillies, I just don't love the way the Cubs are playing. I'll take a shot with the Phillies on the road today. Next matchup, we got the San Diego Padres versus the Texas Rangers. Rangers opening up as home favorites at minus 140. Padres plus 120 with the over-under at 9. Padres coming into this matchup 46 and 43. The Rangers 39 and 46. Pitching for the Padres is Adam Mazur with an ERA of 3.60. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up four runs, had zero strikeouts. Pitching for the Rangers is John Gray with an ERA of 4.0. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up eight runs, had one strikeout. He gave up zero runs the game prior, then gave up nine. So, last three games, he's been getting lit up here. I saw Padres, disappointing game yesterday. They got shut out seven to zero. They're really good dogs, too, which I still think they're really good dogs. Rangers on a two game winning streak. Um, I haven't really seen Padres get shut out in a while. So, I expect a big bounce back from the Padres here. Not in love with Gray on the mound today for the Rangers here. And uh, I'll take a shot with the Padres plus one and a half on the road today. Next matchup, we got the Detroit Tigers versus the Minnesota Twins. Twins opening up as home favorites at minus 170. Detroit plus 140 with the over under at nine. Detroit coming into this matchup 38 and 47. Minnesota 48 and 37. Uh, pitching for Detroit is Kyder Montero. Uh, it's looking like he's getting his first start of the season for Detroit today. Pitching for Minnesota is David Festa with an ERA of 5.0. He's only pitched once this season. He pitched five innings. Gave up five runs. Had two strikeouts. Uh, Detroit losing to the Twins yesterday, 5-3. to three. Uh, They're on a bad stretch, 3-7 and seven in their last 10. Uh, Minnesota on a three-game winning streak. I mean, they're playing pretty well. This is probably the game where I don't love the pitching at all here. We're getting, you know, for Minnesota, Festa, first start, didn't really pitch that well. We'll see how the pitching is for Detroit today. So I don't really like it on either end. So I'm going to take the better team here. We'll take the home team, and I'll take the Twins at home. Next matchup, we got the Tampa Bay Rays versus the Kansas City Royals. Both teams in a pick em scenario at minus 110 with the over under at eight and a half. Tampa Bay coming into this matchup 43 and 42. The Royals 47 and 40. Pitching for the Rays is Ryan Pepiot with an ERA of 3.0. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had eight strikeouts. Pitching for the Royals is Michael Walker with an ERA of 1.60. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had six strikeouts. 
uh, Tampa Bay on a two game winning streak beat the Royals yesterday five to one. Um, yeah, I figured Royals would be solid yesterday, but you know, that's the name of the game here. Um, uh, yeah, these, you know, the pick em scenarios are really tough here. Are we going to get a Royals bounce back today? You know, Rays are in a little two game winning streak. They're seven and three in their last 10. I mean, they haven't been bad. They've been pretty solid here. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty, pretty even pitching matchup as of late. Pepiot been the worst of the two. Waka consistently pretty much gives up one to two runs here. I think they bounce back today. I'm going to take the Royals at home. Next matchup, we got the Milwaukee Brewers versus the Colorado Rockies. Brewers opening up as road favorites at minus 170. The Rockies plus 140 with the over-under at 11. Brewers coming into this matchup 51 and 35. The Rockies 29 and 56. Pitching for the Brewers is Colin Rio with an ERA of 2.20. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs, had eight strikeouts. Pitching for the Rockies is Dakota Hudson with an ERA of 4.20. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up five runs, had three strikeouts. Uh, Brewers winning a close one yesterday against the Rockies, four to three. They were able to get that lead in the bot or in the top of the ninth. Uh, so nice bounce back for the Brewers. Um, yeah, you know Dakota Hudson, he's coming off three. His last, I mean, he's he gives up runs here. He's given up five, eight, three, one, and four in his last five. So uh, he's been kind of getting lit up a bit here. Uh, Rhea's been solid here. Mainly gives up one to two runs. I'm going to take the Brewers on the road today. Next matchup, we've got the Los Angeles Angels versus the Oakland Athletics. Both teams in a pick'em scenario at minus 110 with the over-under at 8. Angels coming into this matchup 36 and 48. Oakland 31 and 56. Pitching for the Angels is Davis Daniel with an ERA of 0. He's only pitched once this season. His last start, he pitched 8 innings. Gave up zero runs, had eight strikeouts, very good debut. Pitching for Oakland is Joseph Estes with an ERA of 2.60. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs, had eight strikeouts. Angels, uh, yeah, dropping a game to the to Oakland yesterday, seven to five. Uh, Oakland finally getting in the win column, you know, after a couple losses against Arizona here. Um, Really liking Daniel. He looked really good in his first start. I mean, pitch eight innings and give up no runs in your first start. It's about as good as it gets in baseball. Um, in Estes, you know, he gives up runs. He's been giving up about two to three runs here. I like the Angels with the bounce back. They're still playing good overall here. I'll take a shot with the Angels on the road today. Next matchup, we got the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers opening up as home favorites at minus 215. Arizona plus 180 with the over-under at 9. Arizona coming into this matchup 41 and 44. The Dodgers 53 and 33. Um, let's see. Don't know who's pitching for Arizona. It's TBD right now, so we'll see who ends up pitching for the D-backs today. Pitching for the Dodgers is Gavin Stone with an ERA of 1.40. His last start, he pitched nine innings. Gave up zero runs. Had seven strikeouts. Uh, Stone's been very solid for them. Really gives up about two to three runs a game here. Uh, Dodgers winning a close one yesterday, six to five. A nice bounce back win from the Dodgers after dropping that Giants game. Um, yeah, we'll see what the pitching matchup looks like for Arizona today. I do like Stone on the mound. Ben, definitely probably their most solid pitcher, I would say, for the Dodgers. And uh, doesn't really get lit up that much. Or hardly ever. I'll take a shot with the Dodgers at home. Then the last matchup, we got the Baltimore Orioles versus the Seattle Mariners. Seattle opening up as home favorites at minus 120. Baltimore plus 110 with the over under at 7. Baltimore coming into this matchup 54 and 31. Seattle 47 and 40.
Pitching for Baltimore is Dean Kramer with an ERA of 2.40. His last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up five runs, had two strikeouts. Pitching for Seattle is Logan Gilbert with an ERA of 1.20. His last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up two runs, had three strikeouts. Um, Baltimore, shutting out shutting out the Mariners yesterday, 2-0. Nice win for Baltimore. Seattle, they've dropped three straight here. Um, I think Baltimore's a good dog today. Kramer... You know he's been he, he's been he's been good this season, coming off two rougher starts, but really only gives up about two runs a game. Um, same with Gilbert; he's very good. I mean, he barely, he gives up about anywhere from one to three runs a game. Um, his last win was against. Actually, that's a lie. Never mind. Yeah, I, I think Baltimore's a good dog today. I'm sure Seattle's going to rebound after getting shut out yesterday, but yeah, I'll take Baltimore plus one and a half on the road today. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on uh, Wednesday. Hope you guys all cash out, and I'll see you guys Thursday. Have a good one.